In this video, we'll show you how to find a truly holistic view of your training with Polar Training Load Pro. The new Training Load Pro doesn't measure just one, but three aspects of training load. In addition to cardio load, you can measure muscle load and compare these measurements with your subjective feeling, which is called perceived load. For each training load you get, a numerical value, which displays the absolute load value, and a verbal description and a visual scale, which indicate how hard the session was compared to your 90-day average. This adaptive scale reflects the fact that the same kind of training session can have a different impact on your cardio system, depending on your training history and current condition. Cardio load shows your cardiac response to a training session. It's shown as training impulse, a commonly accepted method to quantify training load. TRIMP is calculated after every workout from your heart rate data and session duration. The easiest way to follow your cardio load is to check the cardio load status view on your Vantage watch face. Your cardio load status is available after three days with training load data. Your status gets more precise over time. It's updated daily and after every training session. Cardio load statuses are detraining, maintaining, productive, and overreaching. Your strain to tolerance ratio determines what level you're on. It helps you figure out whether you should boost or slow down your training. Strain shows how much you've strained yourself with training lately. Tolerance describes how well your body tolerates training. Strain shows your average daily load from the past seven days and tolerance your average daily load from the past 28 days. Have a look at your cardio load buildup in the Flow mobile app or web service. In addition to training loads from individual sessions, you can monitor how your cardio load builds up over time. Muscle load is the load that your training session puts on your joints and your muscular system. Muscle load is an estimate of mechanical work. It tells how much work your muscles do. It's based on power measurement and is calculated by multiplying power with duration. Muscle load values are calculated when measured power data is available. Currently, muscle load is available for running and cycling. With Vantage V, running power is determined from your speed and barometer measured uphills and downhills on your route. With Vantage M, you'll see running power when using an external power sensor. With both watches, muscle load is available for cycling sessions when using an external power sensor. The third load is based on your subjective feedback, perceived load. Perceived load is based on RPE, rate of perceived exertion, which is a commonly used method to estimate the intensity of a training session. Rate your session afterwards with the Flow mobile app. Ideally, session RPE should be answered 30 minutes after training. If your estimates of similar sessions are getting lighter, your performance is probably improving. When measured loads and perceived loads aren't matching, it might be a signal of upcoming illness, stress, or some other factor. Perceived load is a useful tool, especially when determining training load from heart rate alone is challenging. This can often be the case in strength and speed training because the cardio system naturally responds slower to changes in intensity during these types of sessions. Training Load Pro offers you a convenient way to monitor your load, whatever your sport is. Whether you want to follow your training load through only one or all of them, you've got a practical tool that helps you understand and plan your training better.